Hey, you guys, I wanted to share something with you really quick. So, you know that there's this, <clears throat> this hurricane that is developing. I They don't know which way it's going to take, which way it's going to go. But um, you guys, this hurricane's name is Raphael. And this is not a coincidence, okay? This is, this is something that is happening in the physical realm that is something that has already been set forth in motion in the spiritual realm because the physical manifestation of it is already here well it's it's going to be hitting i think maybe by this weekend um, wherever it's going to hit whether it's florida or texas or wherever but Raphael, you guys there's a couple times in scriptures um a lot of the time it's gabriel um gabriel is the is a messenger a lot of the time and we know that this is the time for all things written to be fulfilled right the holy spirit inspired scriptures being fulfilled again um much of it at a spirit in in the spirit right the word of god just isn't fulfilled literally right it is fulfilled literally it is fulfilled spiritually there's there's di there's several different testimonies that the word of god has as the angels are writing down um everything and and god is bringing it to pass and um so Raphael, so there's two times Raphael is is used. Again, most of the time it's Gabriel when it's talking about archangels in the scriptures um, or Michael. But Raphael is is um, written where in, in the word of God, in Holy Spirit inspired scripture. And people can think that this is not Holy Spirit um, inspired or that it's not from God. But it is um, the book of Enoch and the book of Tobit. And Raphael means um, to heal or God has healed or healer or something like that. It's talking about healing. And we're about to see um, these things take place, right? Trump is looking like it, um, just as the Lord has told us, he's going to win the presidency. And there's a new thing that is happening, you guys. Um, the, the true children of God who have believed in God's word, who have believed in his promises, um, who are going to go forth and reap a mighty harvest of souls, they um, are going to be inheriting there there's going to be healings that are coming upon them but not only um healings you guys see raphael was sent after the angels they did bad a lot of evil things like um terrible unspeakable things and the Lord sent Raphael forth with his word to heal the land. And Raphael moved in the earth. He moved in the earth and he healed the land. Okay, because when evil is takes place in a, in a certain area, like say if there's a house and a really evil act, like say child sacrifice or say a building where abortions happen you guys the sin will actually permeate that the um the material the matter the ground the environment in that area okay and when that sin permeates it has an effect it um people um, m many people when they go into those areas they can feel the residual effects of the sin okay this is why the lord said um when he was telling moses and moses was writing the law he said if they start sinning and they start doing these sins you cast them out of the camp okay you drive them out because what that sin will do is that sin will actually start permeating everybody else around them the matter the the ground the everything and um and so um yeah so the ground you guys with a lot of the sins that have happened um it affects people's temples it affects their it affects people's bodies it affects the 
the um the earth the areas where we are residing okay and so this is um you guys raphael is coming to heal he's coming to cleanse just as he did many thousands of years ago our angelic brother is coming to um do what the lord has called him to do now this is in the form of a hurricane and so this could be um we'll see when it happens right but this could be meaning like maybe um there the, this there's going to be a storm right a, a storm that's going to happen and then the healing or this could just be a tropical depression this could be just um a huge uh rainstorm and much needed because rain is also um blessing right so this could not even be a really big destructive hurricane um this could just be a a um a big rainstorm for us in areas where i live where there's uh, much needed rain and by the way you guys if you look at the video that i did this is off topic but the the video that um i did a few a couple weeks ago where i was outside and you can see the grass was brown and i said we we're gonna have um a testimony soon that we we're gonna pray for rain and the grass is gonna turn green you guys the grass is starting to turn green over there because the lord has answered our prayers and i said and so give god glory praise him you guys he is doing mighty things right now um I'll show you that I'll do I'll do a video and I'll show you guys that um, in a couple of days. But you guys, there's new things. There's a shift that has happened and happening and happened. And there's new things that are going to happen. Things that um, things that have not happened, never have happened since the creation of Adam and Eve um, that we are going to be partaking in. And um, I, I wanted to you know, I probably should do, I'm going to do a separate video about this, but I just wanted to share that with you guys that, um, our angelic brother is coming with healing. And, and so real quick too, before I end this in the book of Tobit, in the book of Tobit, it was, um, Raphael was healing. There was, um, Tobit and I forgot the the woman's name, but they they were getting married, and there was healing that needed to take place, um, in in the woman, um, because all of her husbands had died, and so there was a lot of so basically Raphael told him, hey, do this and this and this, and then there's going to be healing, and you guys will come together. So you guys, Archangel Raphael is coming. He's had, he has a mandate from the Lord God Almighty, and he's coming with healing in his wings. He's going to visit this earth, you guys. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to him, you guys, and pray that the Lord sends Raphael to into your life and believe in that, have faith in it, and to heal the things that need to be healed in your life, whether it's spiritually, physically, emotionally, whatever. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I love you guys so much. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.